Hey everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop basic tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at swatches which are up here in the top right corner. If you don't have this panel, search along the top for window and make sure that swatches is ticked here. So very quickly, what is a swatch? It is just basically a color palette. It's a very quick way to select a color and paint with it. So it's quite good if you're using a lot of different colors and you don't want to lose your color that you've used. So how do you create a new one or save your own? Well, if you click on your foreground color over here and click where you want your color to be, find a color that you're happy with. You can see here there's an option to add to swatch. So now that I've added that, you can rename it if you want and it puts it up here right at the end. So it's as simple as that. Another way of doing it, if we select a different color, let's go for a bluey color this time. If you didn't press it then, you can just right click in your palette up here and you can click new swatch. So same process again, it appears on the end. So that's how you save them. A few other handy tips with swatches. Just clicking on any of these colors as we saw earlier replaces our foreground color. So that's the equivalent of a left click on a mouse. If however you hold down control on your keyboard and then select a color, you can see in this bottom left corner, as I select these, it changes the background color instead. If you press down Alt on your keyboard and then hover over your swatch, you can see it brings up a little pair of scissors. So if I click now, that will remove that. Nice and easy. And last of all, it's worth noting that Photoshop already has a few swatches available. If you click this drop down here, you can see quite a few along here. I haven't actually tested these out, but there's an option there for you. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and be sure to leave me a comment below. Let me know what other tutorials you would find helpful. And as always, make sure you subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching everyone.